Hello, and thanks for joining me. I wanted to touch on a subject that has been contemplated for thousands of years, yet is virtually unknown to Western society. The Three Minds is about the struggle of the internal conflict that is present in our interactions of our perception of our reality. To get a clear understanding, it is important when searching for the answers that certain approaches must be made to form a realisation of the true underlying nature of the causes. To find the cause of anything, we have to observe the effects presented, like a doctor looking at the symptoms to diagnose an illness. Imagine that inside you, there are three thought patterns, all springing from the same source a one true mind. Now with the three minds, one is of justice and morality, and the other is of self-preservation, attachment and desire. The last one is neutral. It can only contemplate what is presented to it from the thought streams coming to its attention. We can consider this as a processing part of the mind. And as there are three minds, there are three constants, one of thought, two of voice, and three of action. And as with the three minds, the three constants are observed as coming from one source, you and me for example. So the processed thoughts become words and actions in accordance with cause and effect, and how it has developed from pain, suffering, love and compassion throughout your life. The problem is that the neutral mind is the only one that can perceive the other two. This opposing force of the two thought patterns emerging from the dependent arising thoughts of the mind causes internal and external conflict, which are observed in our daily lives. So could we consider ourselves to be this neutral mind? If so, then we would not be in control because the neutral mind is acting on advice from the other two minds. So we observe the actions taken due to the processed thoughts creating many forms of suffering or happiness. Yet both are illusion, as suffering is to the part of the mind that presents self-preservation, attachment and desire. So too is happiness to the other part that presents justice and morality. Yet neither can be observed to have any true nature due to impermanence. So suffering and happiness don't last, they just oscillate back and forth chaotically. So how do we fix this? We have to let the thoughts come and go without judging them. Don't try to stop them, that'll only make it worse. Just let them arise and let them fall away without holding on to them. There's no need to sort them or to add to them. Just let them go. With time and practice, you'll become more synchronistic without the constant chaos of the thoughts of the three minds. Then you can develop a state of one-mindedness, which will lead to higher levels of concentration and awareness of the true self, and allowing us to take the first steps on the path to calm abiding. I'll talk more on calm abiding and the levels we need to achieve the defined stages of the search for Samadhi. This is about taking back control of taming the mind. If you're willing to break free from the chaotic conflict of the three minds, then a good starting practice would be any form of mindfulness meditation. I've added a link down below in the descriptions for this meditation. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this video on the three minds. And don't forget to subscribe for all the latest videos. Until next time, this has been Graham Sampton. Thanks for watching.